Good day, beloved brothers and sisters. Glad you're here from this uh, midnight recording special for you. It will be a very unique, profound experience for you. Uh, I highly endorse you to do this where you have time to adjust, integrate it, digest what you're going to receive. And it's very important for you to do it in a time where you are not disturbed, where you really can be with yourself, where you can integrate it, take time to digest it, and really take some time for yourself with nature, or do some earthing with bare feet on Mother Earth, maybe do some meditation afterwards. Those things are great things to do in this unit of time. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jojan Hendricks. I'm a level seven candidate, level seven candidate in the Global Information Network. I'm a proud member of the Inner Circle. I'm a proud member of the Club 712. I'm a proud public speaker, Empower Life Coach, and beyond. And my certificates are growing and expanding. But at the end of the day, it's not about the certificates. It's, it's really that you go from intellect to knowing to feeling, and of course, a part of you, and you start living that concept, principle, or what you've learned on a daily basis. And we decide walking the walk and just talk the walk, right? This is very, very powerful when you go from intellect to knowing to feeling. It's also said by Napoleon Hill, whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, it can achieve from the heart. Or, in James Allen's terms, as a man is in his heart, so is he, right? So we're going to do some tapping today. How you, how you can be more involved in listening with your heart. And if you really look at the word heart, it already has the word here included. And the first organ that grows inside of you when you're a little embryo, the first organ that grows is your heart. Your mind didn't grow first. Your heart grows first. Also, when you point to yourself, all around the world, people point here because that's the first memory they have. And you already know that your mind reacts, your heart creates. Your heart loves unconditionally. Your mind, your eyes and ears will always deceive you. Ultimately, you want to connect the mind with the heart to your heart centering that we're going to do today that really can help you to make better decisions and become more clear on the journey you're in in your life. Before we start, I want you to get a, a liter of water preferably in a carafe or in a bottle, and get a bottle of water ready, and a glass, an empty glass, just a glass, so you can have water at hand to clear it. Because I can energetically charge water for you, so you're gonna get more profound experience in this heart-centering experience. If you understand, if we all more heart-centered beings that we really are, the essence of us, all of us is heart-centered. We will only will do good things in the world and we will have the, in the biggest group, the love of brother and sisterhood. We will treat our neighbors with love and respect. But it only can happen if we start digging into the truth, the inner truth, the true essence, the, the true authentic self, who we really are. Because in the meantime, Put me on pause, get a, a liter of water or one quarter of water and a glass. And when you're ready, just resume this recording. Perfect, glad you're here. So let's uh, get your bottle ready. And it's very, very simple for you to apply. Where intention goes, energy flows. There's only what you have to do when I start the program, you look at your glass of water or your craft or a bottle of water, preferably a liter, you look at it and you just focus your intention on the water and where your intention goes, energy flows. Just uh, let's do that right now.
perfect. So I want you to do this, look at the bottle of water right now, and this flows in the water, and when your intention goes, energy will flow. Three, two, one, focus on your bottle of water now. Say thank you, take your glass, fill up the glass with water and drink the whole glass. So the water can do this magic within this process when you're going through this experience and really you start listening with your heart. And this will be a healing, profound experience that you're going to experience in the moment of now because it was pre-sent to you and you're here for a reason. You at the right time at the right place to make this happen in every fiber of your being now. So uh, let's embark the journey together. I just want you to look for a moment to the word belief. Just look for a moment, ponder, think about it. What, mean, what is the meaning of the word belief? Maybe you think about the root word, the root word of belief. Maybe you think about the origin of the word belief, but just look at the word belief for a moment. Maybe you want to look at what the feeling is of belief, or maybe you look for an intellectual perspective of belief, or maybe you look at the perspective of knowing the word belief. What do you see? Secrets are always in plain sight. Your eyes and ears will always deceive you. What do you see? What do you feel?
let's enlighten you. <laughs> and remember, all is well, all is perfect. Life is just a game. Just play the game of life and just have fun in this experience. And remember, so only so long it makes you stronger, so long it makes you stronger and it doesn't kill you, it only makes you stronger, right? Very important. Just keep in mind, whatever lesson you learn, it only makes you stronger and stronger you still alive and doing well, you are on your way of enlightenment. It's just embrace the moment that is presented to you. This here is the word belief cut in chunks. Be the lie and you will fail tremendously in life. Be the lie and you have a flaw in life. The word is already there. Be the lie it's in the word belief. And when you be the lie, you're getting an F or flunk the test of life. Because most of your things that you believe in are a lie or not serving for your highest good. And it's all in the process, in that moment that you're living in the process of life, when you go through the journey of life, this adventure, the end of the day, it's all about remembering who you are, your true self, who you really are. Unlearn the belief, the habits, the programs, the apostles, that are holding you back to remember who you really are. It's all about remembrance. You all have forgotten on the day you were conceived who you are. That's the big question. Who are you? And you have to remember yourself in the process of life. And it could be through reading books, can be listening to audios, can be looking at webinars, going to seminars and trainings. All the things are fantastic, but you need to slow down sometimes, take time to digest, but most important, discern and see if it's really serving for you. And what you maybe believe right now doesn't have to be true a second later or a minute later or a week later. Of course, things are always evolving, always growing, always expanding, just like you. And Albert Einstein already says 90%, uh, you only use 10% of your brain, but he really says 10% is the true essence of you, and 99% or 90% of that is not you. There are other people's beliefs, program, and apostles that you have agreed to, but they are not you. And in your journey of life, your goal is to go to 20% of remembers who you are, 30%, 40, 50, 60, 70, and really become the owner of your own original thoughts or your own original memory, who you really are. And really awake out of the illusion and dissolution you are living. And that's what we're going to do today in the process of releasing your true potential. Just enjoy this journey tremendously. And have a cheerful, playful heart every day in every way. Have a childlike personality where you are open to everything but not attached to anything. I will say to you, enjoy the glory of the right. What I want you to do this week, do some research about the word trust, belief, and fit. I highly endorse you to do some research on the word trust, belief, and fit. Enjoy this experience. <laughs> you will be surprised. So uh, let's so we begin with some tapping and this will be help you to become more heart centered centered and start listening more with your heart. So, uh, let's how we begin. Let's 
let's see if we can do something about this before we begin. Beautiful, life is wonderful. So I take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. Now do a heart centering. Your right middle finger, your north finger, where your armpit ends. You go to the center of your chest. And you breathe in. You breathe out. And you breathe in. And you breathe out. And you breathe in. And relax. Just follow me. Start tapping on the side of your hand. I allow. Just keep on tapping. It's just to listen to, not to repeat. <laughs> Every day and every I'm getting better and better, just like you. Just listen first. I allow yourself, allow yourself to be more heart healthy from now on. You will live longer and prosper forever, ever, and ever more. Now repeat after me. I choose to listen more with my heart. I choose to listen more with my heart. I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to listen more with my heart. And I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to listen more with my heart. Because that would be great for other people. That will be great for other people. It will be great for me. It will be really great for me. So I choose to listen more with my heart. And I choose deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe everyone else. I choose to listen more with my heart. Follow me. I choose to listen more with my heart. I choose to listen more with my heart. Because my heart isn't all caught up in judgment. Because my heart isn't all caught up in judgment. My heart isn't all caught up in ego. My heart isn't stuck with, with old programming. My heart isn't stuck with old programming. I am allowing myself to listen more with my heart. I allow myself to be more heart-centered from now on. Allow myself to be more heart-centered now. I love and appreciate my amazing brain. 
I love and appreciate my amazing brain. And while I choose to still use my head, and while I choose still use my head, where appropriate it, I choose to clear my head now. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. All that stuff that gets in the way. As I clear out a lot of that old junk as never before. And create freedom to listen with my heart now. So that when someone is speaking to me, so that when someone is speaking to me, I don't just hear their words, I can hear their pain that they are coming from. I can hear the pain they are coming from. I can hear their fear. And I don't take things so personally. And I don't take things so personally. The more I listen with my heart, the more I listen with my heart, the more compassionate I have, the more compassion I have, the more compassion I have. And I can find better solutions. And I can find better solutions in body, mind and soul that I am. Because I am better able to hear what is really going on. Because I am better able to hear what is really going on. Rather that what I just think is going on, rather that what is just think is going on rather than what I just think is going on based on all programming based on all judgments based on old filters I'm giving myself permission to listen with my heart now. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. So I can find what is best for everyone's concern. So I can find what is best for everyone's concern. With which is usually the best for me as well. Which is usually the best for me as well. Allow myself to be more heart-centered as never before. That I am now, and it is so. I am the light, the light I am. And I'm clearing the fear about that. Maybe a part of me says, my heart is too vulnerable. It's being hurt in the past. It is being hurt in the past. And maybe I don't trust myself to use my heart fully. And maybe I don't trust myself to use my heart fully. I am clearing all that old stuff now. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. 
allow myself to feel really good about coming from my heart. Allow myself to feel really good about coming from my heart. Joyfully allowing myself to be more heart-centered. Joyfully allowing myself to be more heart-centered in body, mind, and soul. Joyfully allowing myself to be more heart-centered in body, mind, and soul that I am. Close your eyes, stop tapping, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Just close your eyes for a moment and let the experience or feeling you have grow and expand to the size of the sun, purifying your body, mind, and soul. And only the purest essence of that feeling and experience is remaining in every fiber of your being now. Open your eyes and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's let the beginning start. Follow me. We're gonna revoke the shaman that contract. It's gonna be a profound experience. Just take a deep breath in. Breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Go back. Breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. And breathe in, breathe out. Let's put your left hand on your tummy, below the navel, right, right hand on your heart. And just listen, close your eyes, listen to my words. Or read the text on your screen silently. Whatever you prefer, whatever feels the right for you. You know better than I do. We are being prepared for a universal leap in consciousness. It is the wave we start to process towards our intuition that will eventually lead to a turnaround toward unity consciousness. You will experience energy in the time to come, which will initiate you into your natural strength. You will remember who you really are and why you are here on earth at this time. It's important not to keep circling in different kinds of processes, trying to distinguish 
and deal with every feeling of fear. The fix of initiation will help you to remember that you have a choice between staying in transformation or accepting your fear as a signpost towards a new and unknown. Close your eyes or already have eyes closed. Take a deep breath in while looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it and breathe out, relax your eyes. Take a deep breath in while looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it and breathe out, relax your eyes. Take a deep breath in while looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it and breathe out, relax your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Repeat after me seven times. I live in freedom. 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 Take a deep breath in. Open your eyes. Look at the center of your screen. Like an X, you go to the center of your screen. And you read a loop between the two objects. Look at the center of your screen. Close your eyes. Say in your mind's eye, yes, I am integrating this frequency as never before that I am now. And it is so. I am the light, the light I am. Let this feeling of experience grow and expand to the size of the sun, purifying your body, mind, and soul. And only the purest essence of these frequencies remaining in every fire of your being. Purifying, releasing what's no longer served, and only integrating what is best for your highest good.
Open your eyes. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at the center of the screen. Repeat after me. Yes, I am in the greatest frequency as never before that I am now. And it is so. I'm the light, the light I am. If you definitely. Oh. What you're going to do now, you're going to read the text on your screen out loud. The intention with power and may you never be the same again enjoy this beautiful journey enjoy the glory of the ride may you resurrect in all your glory Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Continue your reading with power of attention out loud. Many words and the power contracts be revoked and release your true potential now. Enjoy reading. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Continue reading out loud. Thank you. 
You get deep breath in. And breathe out. Continue reading with power attention. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gently. Take a deep breath in and breathe out gently. Continue to read the text on the screen out loud now. Take a deep breath in, breathe out gently, and continue to read out loud. Thank you. 
Take a deep breath in. And breathe out gently. Continue reading on the screen now. Out loud with powerful tension. Take a deep breath in and blow it out gently. Continue to read on your screen now. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Just place your hands on your heart and just listen to my words. Close your eyes. You feel that you want to change your life. Feel it right now. Deep in your heart, you know that something has to change, but you keep having doubts. It's time to let those doubts go. They're no longer sure of you anymore. Just let them go now. It is your constructive thought patterns that keep you from your true power. The program switch you have experienced through fear. To get rid of this, you have to let go of self-judgment. Do not be afraid to think big because you can achieve much more than you can think possible. This frequency, the frequency of release, eliminates the prejudgment of yourself, leading to a different kind of thinking pattern, but this in turn will encourage you, encourage your brain to develop your DNA. With your thoughts, you can change your DNA. You didn't eat once, eat through the day. It didn't shower once a week. You're showering often. But it's also, it's so good and powerful to take a mental shower. Of course, when you take a mental shower, you release your true potential. You remember who you really are and you turn you into you. Let's release whatever is holding back now once and for all. Open your eyes, look at the center of your screen.
Say it loud. Yes, I am integrating this frequency as never before that I am now. And it is so. I'm the light, the light I am. Make the sound. Look at the center of your screen. Close your eyes. And every breath, you breathe in, you expand. With every breath out, you release that no longer serves your highest good. You breathe in, you expand in all your glory, in all your knowing, in all your knowing who you are. And when you blow out, when you breathe out, you let go that no longer serves your highest good. You breathe in positivity, breathing out negativity. I am honoring the divine light within me so I can honor the divine light within you. Chamo. Namaste. When you open your eyes, you say thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, you eat every day. You take shower often through the week. Are you taking mental showers? When you are under the shower, just visualize that there's water that comes over you, purifying, cleansing your soul. How more you earn, learn what you have learned that is not serving for your highest good. How more you remember your true self image and unlearn the self image that you not are but remember who you really are. It's a process of releasing. What are you willing to accept change? What are you willing to, accept to learn new things, to release to your full potential? You have the possibility, the wisdom, the knowing, because you are all knowing, all loving, all light. You are the universe and the universe is you. It's time not to be in control of your life. It's time to be in charge of your life. And we're going to anchor that in three times. Repeat after me. Yes, I am in charge of my life. Boom. Repeat after me. Yes, I am in charge of my life. Boom. Say again. Yes, I am in charge of my life. Boom. Feel it. Say it out loud through the day. Every time you have a challenge or something holds you back, say, I am in charge of my life. Boom. And you will release your true potential. I love you more than you'll ever know. You're amazing. 
you are here for a reason. It's time to fulfill your desire, your journey, your full potential that you are. And I invite you, I'm here to serve you so you can go through this process, this beautiful journey, easily and effortlessly. I invite you more than you'll ever know. I support you more than you ever know. I love you more than you will ever know. I'm with you. Together we unite. We are integrating our we power. I would say to you, my beloved brothers and sisters, to meet again, it's my honor to serve you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the beautiful beaches of the world where we can earth, have fun, play, and remember our true essence. Thank you, thank you, thank you.